Dear Dojo friends, we in the martial art community wish to please take a moment and acknowledge and express our gratitude for the life and work of someone who inspired thousands of Budo practitioners. This man helped train Bruce Lee. He helped teach Chuck Norris how to punch and gave the word karate to the karate kid. And an entire generation of martial artists were inspired by his books. Let me tell you a bit about an unsung master of the martial arts who many Hollywood action stars stood on the shoulder of. His name was Fumio Demura. Although I wasn't a personal student of him, I will please refer to him today with the utmost respect and call him Sensei. He taught so many of us with his books on the martial arts. He was born in 1938 in Yokohama, Japan. He began his journey into karate at the age of nine, achieving his first black belt in 1956. In 57, he switched and began training in Okinawan Kobudo under Taira Shinken. In 1963, he even came to know the Kogaryu Ninjutsu Soke Seiko Fujita. He then met a martial arts scholar, who you'll be familiar with, named Don Drager, who introduced him to Dan Ivan, who would eventually bring Demora to America in 1965. Demora was originally schooled in Shitoryu. However, when Demura moved to California with Ivan, he respectively learned all of the Shotokan kata in order to accommodate and instruct at Ivan's Shotokan dojos. Demura earned his fifth degree black belt in 1971 and remained at that rank all the way until 1982. Can you imagine someone as active as him spending 11 hard years of training in just one belt rank? And we dare to covet our new belt colors and rank or complain about our unappreciated merits. Demora still reminds us now of our unearned hubris. Those of us old enough to have been around long enough, the internet cherished his books on the bow staff, the sai, the tonfa, and the art of shitoryu karate. To this day, I cannot pick up a bow, a nunchaku, a kama, or a sai without thinking of working and learning my way through those crumpled up paperbacks way back in the 1980s. Seeing this fight scene as a 14-year-old kid who was obsessed with Budo, I was blown away. I thought this was Miyagi. I thought this was Pat Morita. I was wrong. This, this is Demura. Here is old footage of him as Miyagi rehearsing that same scene in 1983. Fantastic. We all went home after seeing this movie and became Daniel-san in our own backyards. We mail-ordered weapons and books from that day on, and Demora was our respected paperback sensei. And we all thank him for all he gave us. And a few of us even went on to continue the journey of Budo and open our own schools in the spirit of what he taught us. Sensei once suffered a bleeding brain injury that caused him to go into a coma for five days. He awoke with no use of his arms or his hands, but he never gave up. He found solutions. He recovered over time by slowly folding thousands of origami paper cranes. This helped regain the use of his fingers and his hands. He used his warrior spirit to start over and to endure. When asked how he recovered from such a severe injury, Demora said, quote, That's the martial spirit. Without karate, I cannot make it. Just do it. That's it. Last night, after teaching a long day of classes at my own dojo with my own black belts, I went home to recover and rest my body and read the daily news, and I was deeply saddened, as many of you were, to see that we lost him yesterday on Monday.
April 24, 2023, Demora died at the venerable age of 84. So today, the Eastern Sun rises on a new day of opportunity and a new day of training and practice, and we are all highly aware as we open the doors to our own dojos that a whole generation of inspiring masters, sadly, is dying. These were our teachers. They are our teachers. Once young, once vibrant stewards of Budo, they now hand the sword and the staff of ancient morals and traditions to us. And tonight, once again, as we go outside and grab our bow, our sai, our kama, we will once again train, and I will hear him from the evening shadows, whispering to all who listen to take hold of life, to venture outdoors, to live, to laugh, and to train. And the faded paperbacks and the faded photographs that look down upon us will still beckon us to chase our martial dreams and to never, ever, ever give up when we feel the pain of practice and the lessons of death and life. Sensei Demura was a true hero to all of us. He was a teacher, and we will miss him. On behalf of everyone, dearest Sensei, our lives are far greater because of you and the life you gave with your martial body, your sage mind, and your immortal, always present spirit.